Hi guys, this is Farz and welcome back to Farzal Ozzy. And in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to get a race amazing beautiful skin tone in Photoshop using just a one adjustment layer. This is a very easy tutorial, but this is a real handy one. So now let's get started. So this is the picture I'm gonna use today uh, to get the desired skin tone. Uh, I want to use a gradient map. So for this, go to the uh, gradient map option and click on this and you will find a list like this. And I'm using Photoshop CC 2020. In Photoshop CC 2020, you will find a list, a group of gradients. But if you are using the older version of Photoshop, you will find the gradient here, not the groups like this. So if you are using the older version of Photoshop CC, then from the menu option, from the menu option from here like this, you will find a photographic toning option and that I want to use. So I need to find the older version of Photoshop CC's gradients in this a newer version in this 2020 version. But there is nothing. Photoshop CC 2020 have not removed the gradients of the older version of the Photoshop CC, but they hide it. So now to find all the gradients of the older version of Photoshop, you need to just go to the window option and 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 here you will find the gradients option. Just click on this and here you will find a list like this that we have already seen it. But we don't want it. We don't need this now. We need the older versions gradient. To find this to get those, just click on this menu option and just a little look at this if you click on this menu option you will find here a option called legacy gradient just click on this and look at this a new group is added legacy gradient let's expand it and look at this you will find all the gradients of the older version of Photoshop and here you will find a group called photographic toning this is the group I am looking for let's expand it and look at this look at the gradients and here I want to use this gradient. Okay, now let's go back to the gradient map option. Just click on this and now come into the bottom and look at this, the legacy gradient. Let's expand it and go to the photographic toning option and I am choosing this gradient. Just look at this. Okay, let's press OK. And look at this it gives you a oldish look a vintage or sepia look but we don't want it and now i want to change the blending mode now tell me who is blending mode should i use overlay okay let's use the overlay yeah it looks good but it's too much it's a little bit harsh okay now change it to the softer one the soft light now look at this it looks perfect it looks really beautiful look at this before and after it's still it's too much okay let's reduce the opacity i think around 70 percent looks good look at this before and after but it's still there is one problem i want to apply this effect on the mid-tones and on the highlights not on the dark areas the shadows areas so i want to use the blend if option yes you're right so Click on this and go to the blending option. That's good. Okay, now come into the underlying layer option. And here you'll find a triangle on the darken areas. So now select the triangle on the darken areas and drag it to the right. Remember, we want to apply this effect on the highlights and on the midtones, not on the shadows. So click and drag it to the right and look at this. Now look at this, the edges are not perfect. They look a little bit harsh. They are not blended properly. So now press and hold Alt and click on this triangle. Then the triangle will split. And now click and drag it to the right. Then drag it to the left. Drag it to the left. Drag it to the right. And blend it properly it's like this I think now it looks good let's see that okay now press okay 
and now see the before and after this was the before and this is the after let us zoom in and see the skin tone look at carefully this was the before and this is after it looks a really good so this is done for this picture let's apply the same method on the other pictures who is have the background okay let's use this picture okay so now just go to the gradient map option and select the gradient from the legacy gradient and then photographic toning and choose this gradient sepia antique press ok change the blending mode to soft light and the opacity around 70 percent works perfectly then go to the blending option it's pretty easy and simple and quick let's zoom in and just drag it to the right press and hold alt split it and drag it to the left drag it to the right let's zoom out to see the background look at this i think this is fine now press ok and see the before and after look at this this was the before and this is after look at the skin tones you can always decrease the opacity look at this before and after this is a really quick and easy way to get this beautiful raised skin tone this is a really quick and it will save a lots of time i hope you will love this video if you did hit the like button leave your comments and don't forget to subscribe